Hey, what's going on everybody? Today on the channel we're finally able to do some macOS software release videos because we have got the new Mac Mini M4, so we're now able to finally run macOS Sequoia. So literally my first experience with Sequoia is 15.4. So it took a little bit for me to uh, you know, upgrade to a new computer, but the Mac Mini M4 has been fantastic. Uh, it's my first experience with Apple Silicon. If you don't know, I was coming from a 2018 MacBook Air, so quite uh, a few years ago with that computer, but yeah, very excited here to be experiencing Apple Silicon and the uh, Sequoia software here, but yeah, macOS Sequoia 15.4, that's what we're running here today, so this was released alongside a whole bunch of other Apple software releases here. And it appears that the release notes for uh, Sequoia are basically kind of matching um, what we saw in iOS 18.4. So a lot of these are going to be kind of repeats, but let's go ahead and just jump right into this. So if you have a Mac that is able to run Apple Intelligence, uh, you'll have a couple of new features here. And I can't really show you all these features that I'm going to be talking about today because it might reveal um, some personal items here on my computer. but Anyways, let's just go ahead and talk about everything. And also, this update on this Mac Mini actually came in at 6.17 uh, gigabytes, which is rather large. Um, you know, it's not crazy for, I guess, a Mac OS update, but on my iPhone, to compare, that update was about three something gigabytes, and that is kind of large uh, for an iOS update. So with Apple Intelligence, we now have memory movies that can be created by describing the story you want to see in photos. So if you go into your photos app and you want to uh, create something like that, uh, you'll now be able to do so. Sketch is also now available in Image Playground. So if you go into Image Playground and you uh, you know go in there and you choose that, uh, that's the same thing we saw here on uh, iOS. You'll be able to now uh, select that option to give your images more of a sketch appearance. And then last but not least, Apple Intelligence now supports eight additional languages. For the mail application, uh, we now basically have a copy of what we see in iOS. So you have all the mail categorization, I cannot say that word, <laughs> categorizing uh, that you see on iOS with your primary um, work, you know, different things like that. So that kind of helps you uh, prioritize your email messages uh, for what is most important to you. Again, talking about Photos app, there's a whole bunch of new features in there that are basically everything we saw in iOS. So there's a new filter to show or hide items uh, not contained in an album in the library view. You now have a retouch brush that's included uh, with the cleanup tool here in macOS, so that's different than iOS. You can now reorder items in media types and utilities. You have consistent filtering options in all collections, including the ability to assort uh, by oldest or newest first. So that is pretty nice to finally have. You can option to sort albums by date modified, and you can also disable recently viewed and recently shared collections from the view menu. And then as far as like other features go um, here in macOS, they're all basically the same that we saw in iOS. Have I said that before? <laughs> um, so we have the eight new emojis, different objects, plants, uh, smiley face. There's a new podcast widgets, which includes uh, followed shows widgets to track your favorite shows and different things um, like that, such as your latest episodes, your saved, your downloaded, etc. Um, now have the matter support for compatible robot vacuums that's across all devices you can put that in the home app and you can control that with scenes and automations which is pretty cool and then for mac os related issues that were were solved um, there was an issue where certain external displays might not be able to turn off night shift i was having that problem uh, with this lg display that i'm running here um, and that seems to be uh, fixed definitely with this update, so that's nice. Um, another thing here is increases the default maximum memory allocation limit available to the GPU on Mac Studio, the 2015 model, with the M3 Ultra um, with 256 or 512 uh, gigabytes of memory. So if you have the new Mac Studio, um, you should notice that change. 
improves uh, transcoding performance in Final Cut Pro on the Mac Studio as well. And then we have uh, screen time app limits persist even after a child uninstalls and reinstalls an app. Um, that was included in iOS. And there was also an issue where voiceover navigates elements in correct order in music. And then the last one here is addresses an issue where a braille display may show an incorrect line when navigating lines with left or right arrows. So that's all the things that were uh, fixed here in macOS. And then last thing we can talk about is some security uh, related things. So there was quite a few this time around. I mean, there was a ton. I think there's like over 50 in each release uh, that came out here. But you can go down here on Apple's uh, support page. You can check this out for yourself if you want to read them in depth. But I mean, I'm just going to kind of scroll through. And you know, I'm scrolling through relatively quickly. And there are quite a few security bugs. I mean, check this out. There are a ton. Uh, the most I've seen in quite some time that were fixed here in these latest updates. It's always a little concerning to see that many, but it's also nice to see them fixed. Um, so yeah, quite a few uh, going on here in this latest update. But anyways guys, that's basically everything new here in macOS Sequoia 15.4. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below, and I will catch you all in the next one.